Hi kids, got a new story for you to read. The story is The Story Blanket by Frida Wolf and Harriet May Savitz. The Story Blanket, illustrated by Elena Oldrizola. Hmm. All right. Deep in the snow-covered mountains was a tiny village where Baba Zara lived. The children loved to settle down on Baba Zara's big old blankets to listen to her stories. One day, Baba Zara noticed that there was a hole in Nikolai's shoe. When the children left, she decided to knit Nikolai some nice warm socks. But so much snow had fallen that winter that no one could get through the village to deliver wool yarn. How could she knit warm socks without wool? Every question has an answer, said Baba Zara. I just have to think of it. She poured herself a glass of sweet tea to help her think. Before she had taken three sips, Baba Zara knew what to do. I will unravel a little of the story blanket and use the wool for Nikolai's socks, she said. Late that night, when everyone was asleep, Baba Zara trekked through the snow and left the socks on Nikolai's doorstep. A few days later, Baba Zara noticed the postman looked quite chilly. Soon after the postman left, or soon after, the postman found a scarf wrapped around his mailbag when he left to start the, his morning rounds. Do you know who made it? He asked everyone he met, but no one did. The schoolmaster was surprised to find a pair of warm woolen mittens on the wood pile when he brought in wood for the school stove. Mrs. Ivano, Ivanov flapped the ravens from her wash with the new knitted apron she discovered beside her, be, beside her water pump. So she got an apron. He got some warm mittens. Before long, the grocer was wearing a new shawl instead of her old moth-eaten one. The children had to sit closer on the blanket when they came to Baba Zara's for a story. Can you see how they're all cuddled together on that blanket now? One day, the villagers grew more curious about the mysterious gifts. Baby Olga received a soft new blanket, and the butcher showed off a fancy new woolen cap that covered his shiny bald head. The children were now squashed together on Baba Zara's very small story blanket. Confusion grew when the tailor's scraggly old cat showed up, purring and grand in a snug cat coat. There was no story blanket left to sit on. The villagers asked the mayor to help them solve the mystery. You know what Baba Zara is always, you know what Baba Zara always says, replied the mayor. Every question has an answer. When the children saw the socks, the scarf, the mittens, the apron, the shawl, the cap, the baby blanket, and the cat coat all together, they shouted, It looked like Baba Zara's old story blanket. But she doesn't have it anymore, said Nikolai. Aha, said the mayor. The mystery is solved. Baba Zara used the wool in her blanket to make these gifts. Now it's our turn to give Baba Zara a surprise. Oh, 
So, while Babazara slept, a few rows of wool were unraveled from every blanket in the household and left on Babazara's doorstep. Babazara was amazed when she opened her front door in the morning. She had never seen so much wool yarn in so many colors. And on top of it all was a sign that said, for your new story blanket. Oh, goodness, look at that. The next time the children went to Baba Zara's for a story, there was a colorful new blanket to sit on and a tale about a village where everyone shared with every shared with each other. As she hugged the children goodbye, Barbara Zara not noticed a hole in Alexandra's sweater. She wanted to knit Alexandra a surprise, but the snow was still on the hills, so no wool yarn was to be had anywhere in the village. Barbara's, Barbara, Baba Zara knew that every question had an answer. She looked at her new storybook and smiled. There she is. She's busy, isn't she? The end.